hello guys uh, welcome to tech design i hope you are enjoying my videos so in this video i'll show you how we can uh, make a mirror of uh, any assembly so to do that i will just open one of the assembly which uh, uh, which is this clamp so as you can see here we have uh, many components that are assembled so they are they are just assembled but they are not having any constraint as you can see here this is not uh, um, constrained you can see unconstrained uh, icon over here so we have this assembly suppose if you want to have the same assembly at uh, with a mirror of some plane so in order to do that we can uh, use the mirror assembly command in uh, unigraphics so I'll, sh I'll just show you how we can uh, use that you can go to assembly and here you can find a mirror assembly um, command so before doing the mirror assembly we need to create an uh, plane on which you want to create a, a mirror so otherwise you can just uh, create a plane inside the mirror assembly command itself so i'll just show you uh, so let us go to the uh, mirror assembly and here this is the mirror assembly uh, window which uh, suppose here you need just need to give a next here and as you can see here in this window you just need to select the components which you want to um mirror suppose if you want only two components you can just select two components if you want all the components you can directly select all the components like this so i'm just selecting all the components and i'll click next so as you can see here if there is any uh, now we need to select a datum plane uh, through which it, you want to mirror the components so in order to you know um, select an um, datum plane i need i will just create a datum plane uh, either if you have a datum plane you can directly select it uh, from the uh, window otherwise you need to go to this uh, create uh, datum plane window and here is the datum plane uh, window and now i will just select this face from this space uh, around 100 mm i will create one uh, you know plane and i'll click okay so this is the plane which is already selected as you can see here it is highlighted so now we have to give next so in this window uh, the whatever the uh, components that you are uh, going to mirror for them what are what are the names you just wanted to give whether you want to add a prefix or add a suffix for this or replace the existing string with the existing string with a the original new name so this you can just uh, uh, make it you make a use of uh, for only you know naming purpose uh, if you don't want to be specific on naming you can just uh, ignore this so i'll just keep uh, add a suffix as a mirror like this so whatever the components that are created on the mirror side uh, they will be having a uh, prefix of a mirror so now what i'll do is I'll just, yeah, so here is the directory where you want to save the uh, created uh, parts if you want you can select the different uh, you know directory for the parts created after the assembly otherwise you can just keep uh, the same directory for the components that are created so now here is the uh, options you have uh, multiple options over here as you can see here once this is highlighted you can see uh, the multiple options over here so now it is uh, reuse and uh, reposition so for, by default when you are doing a mirror assembly this will be selected so it it means that uh, reuse and reposition is nothing but you can just uh, once the um, component is mirrored you can just uh, uh, reuse them uh, component with any position and you can uh, reposition it to um, any place and it is not having any associativity with the uh, original assembly so i will just keep this as a you know um, a reposition uh, as of now so i'm just going to explain the others in uh, in the next so i'll just click uh, next here and uh, in the final window we have an uh, option called uh, preview window so this is just a preview whatever the components that you have selected and what are the you know type you have given and uh, different different options suppose if you want to change this to any other options you can just make it here so reuse and reposition will have uh, six number of uh, you know positioning suppose for example if you select it you can see the six of six is selected uh, and if you so if you go to change it to say uh, one of six you can see the orientation of this model is going to change here 
this is not much useful as you can see here uh, um, so it will be going in random places and uh, i think six of six is a proper place so now whatever the places that as default that are selected are uh, uh, the place from uh, this original window original uh, assembly so i'll just click finish for this so as soon as we click finish and uh, we have selected the reuse and reposition so you can directly select any component and you can uh, move this component if you want i'll just show you as you can see here if you want to move and you can click ok and then it will be moved for to another position so we have some other options as well i'll just do ctrl z okay now again i'll go to mirror assembly and i'll select all the components sorry next window here is we need to select the components so i'm selecting all the components and click ok next and we have a datum plane let me create a datum plane here with this 100 mm and click ok next we i'll just give next and the naming i'll keep it as it is default and we have an option over here so as you can see here all the components are uh, in uh, reuse and reposition i'll just select one by one and i will change it to associative mirror so as you can see here here the icon is changed and in the same way i'm just going to do for all okay So this is the you know option which you want to uh, customize on the on the mirrored assembly. So this is not going to affect on existing assembly. Uh, this will be going to affect on only on the mirrored assembly. As you can see here, previously we have this reuse and reposition for all the components, and now I have been changed it to um, you know associative mirror. So uh, what I will what uh, is going to happen in this is so whatever the mirrored assembly will be there each and every component will be associated with that parent component. So when you want to move the uh, individually uh, the mirrored component uh, you cannot able to do that. I'll just click next and here we have a preview window. So it will just uh, show what are the things happened here as you can see here so now we can click finish and you can see here uh, these are the components that are uh, you know mirrored as you can see the naming is changed and the, the prefix is added as, a, added as a mirror if you want to uh, you know add a suffix as a mirror you can just uh, select the other option in the window so now we have this of uh, we have this uh, components over here suppose if you want to move this uh, since we have given a non associativity uh, sorry associativity so we cannot able to move them so as soon as you move it it will move and if you click ok it will come and uh, it will come and sit in the same place as of that this parent uh, so uh, so this in the associativity this complete as entire assembly can be controlled using this and um, it will be exactly mirrored to this plane uh, whatever you do with this uh, you know uh, assembly according to that uh, here it will be changing suppose if you want to move this uh, little bit top you can just select this parent uh, body and you can move this so according to this uh, you know uh, this component is also moving so this is how this uh, associ uh, associative works guys next video i'll be showing you how the other works please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys